Hi, we're going to see how we're going to add checkboxes and control them via PDF Butler to check to mark them as checked or unchecked. So I got a checkbox here and let's add another one right here. So I want to add a checkbox and for that I have to go to the legacy forms and here on the legacy forms add this checkbox. So now this checkbox is there. Uh, I have to give it a name and I'm going to give it this name over here. Uh, check fields too. So right click on the checkbox, go to properties, and then in properties on the bookmark, select set the, um, set the uh, checkbox name. So this is how we're going to identify this specific checkbox. Okay, so the checkbox is now added. And for checkbox one, I also added this property. Uh, obviously, the text does not have to be here. It's just for demo purposes. And if I go to the properties of this checkbox, you will see that it's called checkbox one. Now, let's take a look at the configuration. In the configuration, uh, which I already prepared a bit, uh, is there is a checkbox. And this checkbox here uh, is of the type form checkbox. And the merge field is checkbox one. So that's the exact merge field as we have put here in the uh, bookmark, checkbox one. And then we're gonna decide when to check it and when not to check it. In this case, uh, we have here, uh, we decide on the amounts. It's the amount of the opportunity and the opportunity amount has to be bigger than 50,000. So that's uh, when the amount is bigger than 50,000, it will check the checkbox. Now let's add a second checkbox. The second checkbox is actually a little bit, um, a little bit more sophisticated because we're going to add this checkbox in a row that we are going to repeat. I'm going to copy the name here of this checkbox, check fields two, and then I'm going to add here an, a new config type. Obviously, the uh, it's going to be of type form checkbox. It's going to use the parent data source because that's the one of the, uh, the the table row that we are repeating. So I just want to keep in that one. Okay. And now we have added the checkbox, but we didn't add any criteria yet. So I'm going to edit this uh, uh, configuration and I'm going to add criteria. I want to say that, well, uh, in the opportunity product that I'm currently in, um, let's say the quantity has to be, um, let's go and take a look at the information we have here. Let's say the quantity has to be equal, uh, bigger than 10. Uh, if we're going to look at all the products that are there, are we going to have a few ones that are checked and are not checked? Let's say the quantity has to be bigger than 100. That's a good uh, check. So the quantity has to be bigger than 100. OK. And now if I save this configuration, now I'm going to go to um, my opportunity here and I'm going to run this one. So let's take a look. So we expect the first checkbox to be checked. Yes, that's true. Uh, the checkboxes for the uh, solar panels, uh, Canadian solar panels. Well, those are 5,000. Those are checked, obviously. Then we have another Canadian solar panel unchecked because, yeah, this one is only 100 and we said bigger than 100. And then all of the bronze solar edge, uh, uh, this one, the installation composite product, all of these ones are checked. So this looks perfect. We did exactly what we wanted to do.